Bozanga, when I again, Mudanga, when I again, Mudanga, when I This project has really premised uh, on the challenges that we are undergoing through both nationally and globally. We have challenges of climate change, challenges of land degradation and biodiversity loss. There is need to have, you know, context uh, specific, gender responsive approaches that would provide lasting solutions. I was really happy when it was mentioned gender, land restoration. My point was working in the village to empower that woman in the village who has not either gone to school or doesn't know anything. And culturally, the woman is, is underprivileged. When one looks at uh, the rural space, women tend to bear an inordinate uh, burden in terms of agriculture, in terms of raising livelihood, in terms of uh, taking care of the family. This is the person who uh, will be very much aggrieved because of the de degradation. So I felt armed with education and with knowledge, I can work in the village and these guys enrich the environment through my level of education. Just to look at the training. Mwendo na timu yaka likuwa wanajaribu kutuonyesha vile hizi miradi sinashindikana sinashindikana kwa nini e, unaenda unapata mzee ndiyo anashungulika na mambo ya miti ama nyasi bibi anashunguli wakati tulienda hizo training ya mwendo na timu yake ya ikrab e, walileta play hiyo mchezo hata ni mchezo yenyewe ni mchezo kwa sababu Ati mimi niliitwa bibi. Mama mwingine akakuwa my husband. Lengo ilikuwa ni nini? Sisi wazee tuone vile tunatumia bibi zetu vibaya. Wakileta maono inaonekana ni maono ya mwanamke. Ama mambo mazingine unapata pengine mama ndiyo anaenda hizi maseminar hizi ndiyo ako informed. Akiendea mzee mzee anakuanga organ. While the, the gender role play, the bargain role play is being done, it brings about, the, it twists the mind of the man where they've been placed and they feel like I am the man who can make decisions. They have now understood the woman can be empowered and the woman goes through challenges. The woman has been feeling oppressed and weak. <laughs> I, I believe that uh, as we conclude this uh, session, some of us will uh, change their mind yes. as a man and also women. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. We have been able to train different stakeholders on the gender transformative approaches. And um, we are glad to be partnering with ICRAF uh, on matter of social protection. I will say social protection because when we are trained on land restoration uh, and matters gender, then we are assured of security as far as we ourselves are concerned. Security in terms of uh, peace at home, meaning when there is peace at home, we are going to be uh, involved inclusively in matters land restoration. They are also adapting basing, based on their context. They are adapting those options they have been given, you know, further refining them and innovating. We have realized that different restoration options are taken up by different people for different purposes. An option like 
planting basin. It may be limiting for a farmer who has a, a male, uh, I mean a female farmer who doesn't have the muscle to do that. Whereas planting grass or planting uh, fruit trees may be an easier option for that. Kwa familia, kila mtu anajukumu ya kufanya hiyo kazi. Jukumu la watoto, wanasaidiana wazazi, kwa mga asubuhi tunaenda shambani, tunafalilia maindi, tunafanya kazi kwa moja. Hakuna jukumu ya wasichana na waflana. Sote tunafanya kazi kwa moja. Ninafanya na watoto wangu. Na kwa jumla, siya tikilimo tenye tunafanya ndiyo hiyo, hiyo, hiyo tu ya ya nyasi na miti pia tunafunga nyuki tuna ngombe wa maziwa ingawaje ni mmoja tumeweka mmoja kwa sababu huyu ngombe tunampatia chakula na tunaenda shughuli zetu the other thing uh, which is important is in decision making we find that investments go where people are the decision-making tip. Trainings need to involve both gender and money needs to be allocated for all options. So that in this approach and through this project, we are looking at what is favorable to men, what is favorable to women, and we are able to provide uh, a cocktail of options for all of them. It's, it's a very, very important um project and we even wish that we can be able to scale up this to most the whole county. So um, it has impact and especially for our women who take up very many roles and responsibilities in the rural areas. The men are not left out and we can classify the men because we have like the elders who would learn from in terms of knowledge and information which is also being passed along within the UK Parked project where they are telling us which trees will be indicators of rain, um, what the environment will do in terms of giving signs and how we can um, integrate that scientifically. We realize that for sustainability, if you do not have gender inclusion, in, in the design, because you need to not only bring women, men and youth at the end process, you need to involve them throughout the whole process. So that at the design, you capture their aspirations, you capture their, their needs, because their needs are very specific. So when you look at those two, the needs and their perceptions and aspirations are captured at the design, at the implementation, and you also get feedback through the process to see what works well for whom. And this is a critical component in landscape restoration, our implementation and sustainability.